Hello fellow aviators, my name's Matt Farrell and I'm the Flying Salesman. Got an exciting trip lined up for you this week. We're going to head down to Daytona Beach, Florida for the Aircraft Electronics Association Regional Trade Show. The AEA, as we call it, puts on regional shows throughout the year for the avionic shops to come in and see what us as service providers are offering, uh, our products, our services, the manufacturers will be there. So we're gonna take you inside this show and show you a little bit about what goes on there. Our flight today is gonna, to, we're gonna blast off out of Shreveport, head due east, take a customer visit in Jackson, Mississippi, another customer visit in Birmingham, Alabama, down into the Florida Panhandle, and then on into Daytona Beach. So we wanna take you guys for a ride, so let's jump in the airplane and see if we can go sell something. Score. Jackson International Airport Information Golf, 21540 and 350 at 7. Visibility 10. Uh, Back ready, condition, check. chilling. Yes, 100,000 broken. Temperature 34, dew point 14. Altimeter 2994. After arrival, expect a visual approach. Runway 34 left. Parting runway 34 right. Service air mission, Texture Bravo 3 and Charlie 6 closed. Runway 34 left, Texture Light out of service. Runway 16 left, Happy. Lights out of service. All aircraft on this shot, take the advisory information golf. Jackson Ground, Centurion, 6048 8 November. I'm looking for IFR to Birmingham. I have golf. Centurion, 6048 8 November, Jackson Ground, Centurion, to Birmingham, Airport is filed. On the departure, maintain 5,000. Departure frequency is 123.9, score 1672. 604 November is clear to Birmingham. I saw I'll come maintain 5000, 123.9 and 1672 for 604 in November. 604 in November, Rubeck is correct. And Jackson Ground, 604 in November is ready, taxi. 604 in November, Jackson Ground, taxi, runway 34 via Charlie. 34 via Charlie, 4 in November. Hey, uh, Ground Ever 5231, we're pushing off the gate now. 5231, right. Quebec Jackson Tower, uh, turn right heading uh, 010, runway 34 right, clear for takeoff. Alright, we're going to do our mag check here, 1700 RPMs. Left mag. Good drop. 6187 Quebec, kind of departure, I'll have a good day. Right mag. Good drop. Cycle the propeller. You guys put a comment down below and let me know if you cycle your propeller more than once. I had an engine shop tell me do it only one time. Alright, engine instruments in the green. Everything looks good. Alright, radio set. GPS set. We're on tower. There's approach. Going to 5,000 feet. Temps look good. Backup batteries on. And Jackson Tower, Centurion 604, November's ready to go 3-4 right. Centurion 6048, November, uh, Jackson Tower, turn right, right turn direct to Birmingham, runway 3-4 right, clear for takeoff, the wind 3508. Alright, right turn direct Birmingham, clear for takeoff 3-4 right for 604 in November. Right, November, there is a uh, Beach 19 there, he just departed, he's uh, on a 010 heading, uh, just, uh, he's due northbound there basically. Alright, 4 in November, Roger, we'll 48 November, roger, I'll turn inside of him. Roger that. Southwest 33, you can turn right at the end, taxi ramp Alpha and Bravo 1 on this frequency. I'll turn right here, Alpha Bravo 1, and you just have 33. Alright, I was taught by my instructor's turbocharge takeoff. Set up on the end of the runway. Come to a complete stop. Bring the power up equal to the pressure altitude of the airfield. We're at 2999. There's about 29 inches. Let the turbocharger stabilize. You can hear it come back down and now roll in with full power. Red line, red line. Get back on that center line. I let it drift to the right a little bit. Alright, looking for 80 knots with a gentle rotation. Bring it off the ground, nice and easy. Taxi to runway 3 4 via Bravo 4. Hit the brakes, gear's coming up. Gear's up, got a light. Alright. 
laps coming up. We're going to accelerate to our cruise climb speed of about 125. We're going to have a departure. Y'all have a good day. Four eight November's going to departure, departure starting at right turn. Have a good night. Thank you. Jackson departure century in 604 November off of 34 right, 700 climbing for 5,000 turning on course. November 604 in November, Jackson departure to contact. Pull the power back to 30 inches. Manifold pressure 2,500 RPM. We are lined up and ready to roll. I'm very fortunate in this airplane to have a really nice autopilot. We have an STEC 55X autopilot, and I do take advantage of it uh, on VFR days. When it's IMC, I do like to hand fly. I think that's really critical phase of flight. Um, if it's a really high workload, then you might see me uh, turn on the autopilot, but uh, usually IMC, I like to hand fly. I like to make sure my skills stay sharp and that uh, I don't have any issues. That's just one of my personal, personal rules to stay competent in this airplane. All right, so we've got to establish climb. We're on course. Autopilot, heading, vertical speed. And we're off and running. So we just had a good sales call there in Jackson, Mississippi. Had a real nice visit. It's uh, 5.30 in the evening, and uh, my next appointment is tomorrow morning in Birmingham. So I'm going to go ahead and get there tonight so that uh, I'll be there and fresh and, and ready to, to meet with that customer. Um, I like to get as much flying as I can done, especially in the evening when it's cooler. It's just much more comfortable to fly and much more enjoyable. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to head up there to uh, uh, Birmingham and uh, we'll shut down the airplane there, and let it spend the night, and uh, I'll get y'all some video when we get there. Uh, it's a pretty cool place uh, going into the, to the international airport there. Really nice FBO, so uh, I'll be able to share some of that information with you. So 1.7, climbing for 5,000. Cross-check my instruments, make sure everything's in the green. Manifold pressure's good, RPM's good. I don't know about you guys, but I like to fly IFR in the system uh, most places I go. Uh, There'll be a few times that, for the sake of time, I feel like uh, going VFR might be better. Uh, but again, it goes back to that proficiency thing. I like flying in the system. I like staying proficient and uh, competent, and navigating the, the ins and outs of the, of the IFR system. So uh, I follow I follow instruments. I mean, obviously today's not a day that, that I could get much instrument time. I did come over at 7,000 feet uh, from Shreveport to Jackson. Uh, and then uh, I had an IFR and got a little bit of actual time, uh, so that was nice. I got the hand fly of the airplane, got some good bumps kind of coming along the way. I think that's always good. Introduce uh, a few rocks and rattles to the airplane, uh, especially when you're IMC, to make you stay on the instruments and keep your scan going. So again, just trying to operate the aircraft as efficiently as we can and uh, stay uh, as, as current and as competent as we can in the airplane. That's, that's really important to me. I want to take this opportunity to give a shout out to a gentleman I spoke with on the ramp at Jackson, Jay Bullard. Jay, I told you to go check out my YouTube channel, so I ask you if you would be my first subscriber. If you're seeing this video, you know I don't have very many videos up. I'm just trying to share what I do for a living. Share with you the, my lifestyle and my job of being a traveling salesman who gets to fly around in an airplane and talk to airplane mechanics. So. Uh, it's always nice to talk to people on the ramp, hear their story. 6048 six, November, Abraham Approach, out to number 3000. 3000, Fort November. Alright, got our check in. Now we need to get our ATIS. Serving him up for information, Oscar 2253 Zulu, 060 at 3, visibility 10. 
Wing 9000 Brooklyn, Temperature 30, 2.19, up for the 3002. Temperature is approaches in East intersecting runways, expect runway 6, floor runway 36. Final trip operations are in effect. Bottom, runway 24, Pappy Hind, Sensei Lights, out of service, runway 24, rails out of service. Cargo ramp, west side, work in progress, east side close. Last contact, you have information, Oscar. Oscar. Got land and hold short operations. Always like to look at the runways and see what that might be. Six and three six. Oh yeah, no problem there. Plenty of plenty of runway. Runway six overall is twelve thousand. Three six is seven thousand. So we got plenty of runway before the intersections. Don't have to worry about that. Before November, descending your discretion, maintain three thousand. PD to 3000 for 4 November. So I was just given a PD, pilot's discretion to 3000. Uh, if you're not familiar with, with that terminology and you don't fly instruments, uh, what that means is they gave it up, lift it up to me when to start my descent, and uh, the bottom of my descent is 3000 feet. So I'm still 30 miles away from the airport, I'm at 5000 feet, there's really no reason, no reason for me to go ahead and start down. Uh, 500 feet per minute, it's only going to take me four minutes to get down there and I'll still be bouncing around a little bit lower. So, uh, got a little bit, you know, a couple more minutes. Uh, my top of descent is probably another two or three minutes away. So I'm going to let that match up and then we'll begin the uh, descent. Looks like I can just barely start to see the airport out there. A little bit hazy this evening. I'm sure you can see that on the screen. It's really been a quiet flight. I talked to uh, Meridian Approach, checked in with them and checked out with them and didn't hear anything in between. That doesn't happen very often. And Birmingham Approach, 4 November, I have the field site. 4 November, cleared visual approach right 6, connect tower 19.9. Alright, cleared to the visual 6, going to tower. Good day. What I'm doing now is I'm loading the visual approach into the GPS, the GTN 750. Basically gives you a glide slope and a localizer uh, for the visual. And it's just a great reference. I enjoy using it, I'm not going to lie, I'm not embarrassed to do it, and it uh, makes life a little bit easier. So, according to this, we're a little bit low glide slope, which works out good, because I'll allow me to slow it down. Sky 4679, gear speed in the Cessna 210 is 140 knots, so we've got to get it below 140, there's below 140. Gear's coming down. Brings the nose right down. Got a wheel, got a green, no motor. And Birmingham Tower, Centurion 604 in November is with you on the visual runway 6. Number 604 in November, Birmingham Tower, runway 6, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 6, 4 in November. Who else called? And my procedure when I'm inbound is when they clear me for the visual approach, uh, it's a taxi light on. When they clear me to land, that's the landing light on. So now I've got both lights on. And those are wheeling LEDs. Fantastic aircraft lights. Aerobach Wilco is a distributor for Wheeling. It's one of our most popular product lines. And uh, I have to say, we definitely sell more Wheeling landing lights probably than anything else. And if you don't have an LED landing light, I, I'd strongly recommend it. You're going to hear that many times uh, if you're a, a subscriber to this channel, just because I'm such a big fan uh, of those LED lights. I think they're a safety item that everybody needs on their airplane. Uh, daytime or night. It's not just for night flying. It's definitely beneficial in the daytime. Alright, we're on a five mile final, runway six. Looks like the Pappy's just starting to show up there on the screen. Alright, gas on the fullest tank, undercarriage, mixture, reaching a little bit, props. Go ahead and slide them full forward. Seat belts, shoulder harnesses, and we do gump C's in this airplane for cow flaps. Make sure they're all the way closed. Start pulling that power back. Easing it back. Three mile final runway zero six. Thank you, Gladys. Get a little bit low here. That's going to allow me to slow right down. Put a little more power out. Hold this attitude. That glide slope come in, keep bleeding off that airspeed. Really have to love flying on evenings like this when everything's nice and smooth. 
You can make such a nice, stable approach. It's nights like tonight that you can sit the airplane up to almost land itself. There we go, going to get our second notch of flaps. It's going to bring me right back up on glide path. That power coming out. Flaps. Got traffic behind us. Got an airliner that's wanting to do a park there. You can see him on the screen just to the right. You can see his landing light. So we're going to hold about 90 knots right here. Get a little closer. Ease the power back. Slow it to about 80 knots. That should help me make that reverse high-speed taxiway down there. That's what we're aiming for to get off. My FBO is right here on the left. It'll approach into six. So there's 80 knots. Power's coming off. Bring that nose up. Start that flare. Just gentle, 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 gentle. Flare, flare's coming down right there. Right there. There's a stop warning horn. Didn't even feel his touch, did you? Outstanding. Silver, 4 Bravo November, where are you parking? 4 November is going to Atlantic. Number 4 Bravo November, turn left, next taxiway, taxi to parking, be a hotel, remain this freak. All right, left on Hotel 2, Hotel to park this frequency for November. Turbocharge on this airplane needs three minutes to slow down. I've read a lot of articles about the turbochargers in this airplane. And Here is your 65, Birmingham clearance, you're clear to the Charlie Golf Fox Airport via the Birmingham 8 departure, then as files, Quark 7133. And I go with what I was taught when I was initially checked out in this airplane, and that's the rule. 465 rebound, correct? That's the 135 rule. 1,000 RPMs for three minutes, or you spend $5,000 on a turbocharger. You can read a lot of articles that tell you lots of different lots of different ways to cool off your turbocharger, um, whether you need to or not. Uh, there's no doubt that when you come in to land, that temperature, uh, when you chop the throttle and you're rolling out, it does drop to what it is now at 740 degrees. Um, there's no doubt that it drops, but uh, it does come back up. So there's a lot of different schools of thought on that. 135, that's, that's what I use, and uh, that's what I run with. So um, that's what we're going to do. But I start a timer when I taxi in, so I know that I get that that uh, that three minute mark. And if I'm pulling into the FBO, or and I have to go up, you know, sometimes you have to climb a hill, or there's grades, or something, you have to go up. Um, and I have to. Here, Julia, you going to Atlantic? And I have to. And I'm ready here, Julia. Turn left next taxiway. Taxi to parking via hotel. Remain this freak. That's how Terry Stanley the other night. And if I have to increase that RPM, I'll always make sure to pull it back. Birmingham Tower, uh, pull it back and then let it spool, spool it down again. Basically reset that three minutes. All right, welcome to Birmingham, Alabama and Atlantic Aviation. Delta flight going out over there. I don't know if you can see it out my window or not. All right, there's our marshal. I always like to give them a thumbs up, let them know I see them. Sometimes they get to waving at you pretty heavy. <laughs> Good looking. Looks like a 182B model over here. I got my private pilot in a B model. You guys will see it coming into the frame right here. This side. That one right there. Six foot land. Six foot land. Delta 2484. Contact departure. See it. Our departure Delta 2484. See it. All right, right there. Thank you very much. Good. Good having you guys fly along with us. We'll see you next time.